Good day everyone. This video will show you the biography of Thales of Malaysia. It shows you his inventions, contributions, and his famous works. For better understanding, please keep on watching. Thales of Malaysia, born 624 to 620 before Christ era, and died 548 to 545 before Christ era. Philosopher and owned as one of the legendary seven wise men, Ursophoi of antiquity. He is remembered primarily for his cosmology, based on water as the essence of all matter, which earth a flat desk floating on a vast sea. The Greek historian Eugenius Laertes flourished third century Christ era, quoting Apollodorus of Athens, flourished 140 before Christ era, placed the birth of Thales during the 35th Olympiad and his death in the 58th Olympiad at the age of 78. No writings by Thales survive and no contemporary sources exist. Thus, his achievements are difficult to assess. Inclusion of his name in the canon of the legendary seven wise men led to his idealization and numerous acts and sayings. Many of them no doubt spurious were attributed to him such as know thyself and nothing in exists. According to the historian Herodotus, Thales was a practical statesman who advocated the federation of the Ionian cities of the Aegean region. The poet scholar Callimachus, 305 to 240 before Christ era, recorded a traditional belief that Thales advised navigators to steer by the little bear or Urza minor rather than by the great bear or Urza major both prominent constellations in the northern hemisphere. He is also said to have used his knowledge of geometry to measure the Egyptian pyramids and to calculate the distance from shore of ships at sea. Although such stories are probably apocryphal, they illustrate Thales' reputation. The poet philosopher Xenophanes claimed that Thales predicted the solar eclipse that stopped the battle between King Aliates of Lydia and King Sharis of Media, evidently on May 28, 585. Modern scholars believe, however, that he could not possibly have had the knowledge to predict accurately either the locality or the character of an eclipse. Thus, his feat was apparently isolated and only approximate. Herodotus spoke of his, his foretelling the year in Lee. That the eclipse was nearly total and occurred during a crucial battle contributed considerably to his exaggerated reputation as an astronomer. Thales has been credited with the discovery of five geometric terms. First, that a circle is bisected by its diameter. Second, that angles in a triangle opposite two sides of equal length are equal. Third, the opposite angles form by intersecting straight lines are equal. Fourth, that the angle inscribed inside a semicircle is right angle. And fifth, that a triangle is determined if its base and the two angles at the base are given. His mathematical achievements are difficult to assess. However, because of the ancient practice of crediting particular discoveries to men with a general reputation for wisdom. The claim that Thales was the founder of European philosophy rests primarily on Aristotle 384 to 322 before Christ era, who wrote that Thales was the first to suggest a single material substratum for the universe, namely water or moisture. According to Aristotle, Thales also held that all things are full of gods, and that magnetic objects possess souls by virtue of their capacity to move iron. Soul being that which in the Greek view distinguishes living from non-living things, and motion and change or the capacity to move or change other things being characteristic of living things. Thales' significance lies less in his choice of water as the essential substance than in his attempt to explain nature by the simplification of phenomena and in his search for causes within nature itself rather than in the caprices of anthropomorphic gods. Like his successors, the philosophers Anasimander, 610 to 546, 545 before Christ's era, and Anasimenes of Miletus, 
flourish 545 before Christ era. Thales is important in bridging the worlds of myth and reason. Hi guys, I hope you will learn more or something about the life of Thales in Miletus. Thank you. Bye-bye.